to the new world and welcome to another video tutorial for today's week lesson i'm gonna show you this well-known song waymaker this is quite an easy song that everyone can be able to play and i promise you even if you're a beginner you can be able to play this song but if you want to take it to another level i will also show you uh, the leads so that you can try to improvise by yourself i'll show you the code i'm gonna show you also the lead but before i start again as always, I would like you to subscribe, to like, to share, to comment. Even remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss anything when I upload a new video. So let's get started for today's lesson. All right, let's get started for today's lesson. As I said, the song is quite easy. It's really straightforward. And even if you're a beginner, you can be able to play this song. And I'm going to show you first the code so that even if you're a beginner, you can just uh, like try to play it by yourself. And then if you want to take it to another level, you cannot uh, start improvising and then start also leading the song. So the song was played in the key of E major. And this is our common code. The E major. So this is our first code. Remember my index finger first fret and then my ring and also my middle it's in the second fret so that's really an open uh, chord we are playing all the strings the e this is our first chord and then there's a a you can play your a this way or you can play this way so it depends on you but i prefer to play this way and sometimes I remove my middle so I can play also this way here so to play a A major you are starting to your fifth fret so this is our A so this is our A major and then I'm playing also a B major so uh, among all uh, the code I'm showing you so this is the hardest one you can struggle a little bit but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you start practicing you'll be able to play it also so this is my B major index finger to your second fret and then your ring and your pinky on your fourth fret so again, make sure you skip one fret in between. And then I'm also playing a C sharp minor. Remember again, as I always say, the C sharp minor coming from the A minor shape. But you go with the same shape to your fourth fret. Those are the code I used for this song Waymaker. The E, the A, the B, and the C sharp minor. So you can even play the song by yourself. So uh, one thing that I like with uh, this song is even if you are playing the co uh, sorry uh, the verse and also uh, the chorus yeah so the verse and the chorus it's the same thing like you are playing the same code uh, same code progression you are going to your uh, your E your A your E and then your B and then you are going to a C sharp so even if you are in uh, the verse or the chorus everything is still the same so you won't struggle a lot so uh for the strumming if you want me also to show you the strumming you are you are just going up and down so just create uh, a nice uh, rhythm So that's quite easy. So you must take it uh, slow first and then after that 
you can now increase the speed. So, uh, but for this particular song, you don't need to play it fast. It should be just slow. So this is how um, the song goes. So for the lead part, if you want to take it now to a, another level, I'm going to show you now the lead. The lead part also is quite easy. Again, most of the song I'm playing, I always use the major scale. So if I'm in a minor, I'm using the minor scale. But since this song is played in the key of E major, I'm using the E major scale. So the first one is right here. This is my first one. So let me do it again slowly. And if you want to, you can even go down again. And then there is also a second one. You can play it right here. On your fourth fret, uh, third third string, again, and then after this, there is also another one down here. So this is my E right here, but I'm playing it somewhere here. So you can play it down here. Again. So for this one, the full version, it starts here. But since I'm not playing up here, I'm starting playing somewhere here, that's why I'm showing you this side here. So, now we're gonna try to connect this side here, this side here, and this side here together. So, I start my lead this side here. So, uh, I start something like this. again one more last time and then after this my second lick again One more last time. And then my third lick. Again, my third lick. Again, let's do it one more last time. So, this 
this was my third lick and then my fourth so my fourth lick i'm playing this one here but i'm playing down here now the same thing but down here again so I'm down here that's my major scale let's do again my fourth lick one more last time now I will be playing my first string and then my third string at the same time that's what I will be doing and if you want to do it it's gonna be quite easy I'm just playing my first string and then my third so I'm playing something like this so I'm putting my ring on my fourth fret first string and then I'm putting my middle to my third string fourth fret also and then uh, I'll be also playing this one playing only again my first string and then my third and then uh, I'm playing this this and then I'll be playing also this one here again I'm playing my first string and then my third. So I start something like this. And then I play this. This one and this one, they have the same shape. So this is quite easy. You can play around with uh, these things here. Quite easy. So this one, it's my A. So this is my A, but I'm playing it right here. And then this one, it might be, but I'm playing also uh, the B right, uh, right here. And then this is my E. So that's how I played it. And, and then I'm taking the same sound down here. So right now, I will be playing uh, the same thing here, but down here. And I will play my second string and my fourth. But here I'm playing my first string and my third. But here I'm playing my second and my fourth. And then I play again this one here. I put this shape, putting my ring, and then I'm putting uh, my middle also. So my middle here and my ring up here. Same shape again. So it has the same sound. This one and this one. This one and this one. This one and this one. So it has the same sound. But I'm just playing it down there. So you can try when you are improvising to play here and to play here. It's going to be nice. 
So I'm playing something like this. I pull in. So this is the shape, but I'm pulling in. in. So you are playing this first. After that, same shape, and then when I'm done here, I go to my code now. So, this is how I play this song Waymaker. So, let me back it up from the beginning, and then uh, I hope you can now play it by yourself. So, let me back it up from the beginning. watching this video thanks for the support and thanks for everything i hope now you'll be able to play this well-known song waymaker you can also uh, try to add more stuff to it you can try to improvise by yourself or even look for other code you can even try to insert it in the song this video it's almost over but before it finishes i would like you again to subscribe to like to share to comment, even remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss anything when I upload a new video. And also remember, I will also apply uh, the instrumental so that you can try to practice by yourself. So see you next week for another video tutorial. Until then, keep safe.